Hey, this is Mike with Rock Out Loud Live, and I want to show you some of the uh, the cool new features we added for the paid subscribers. You now have a whiteboard, and this whiteboard is located on the left side ribbon. You'll see WB, and that stands for whiteboard. And when I select it, you have the option now to screen share, and it's very important you select the application window, then you select the Welcome to Rock Out Loud Google Chrome, and then you select the share. At this point, your student now will see the entire whiteboard, whether it's on a mobile device like an iPad, an iPhone, or an Android, or if they're using Google Chrome on a PC, Mac, Chromebook, or laptop. So now I'm gonna show you all the tools that you have inside your whiteboard. You have a pencil, you have music notes, you have treble clef, bass clef, you have tablature for guitar, tablature for bass and or ukulele if you'd like, you have a piano, a blank piano. You have guitar chord, blank guitar chords, blank ukulele chords, so you can fill in the, the charts for the uh, chords. You have the eraser tool, you have a text tool. You also have the ability to open up any type of image you want, JPEG, bitmap, PNG file. You also have that PDF upload, so you can upload a PDF as well. You can draw circles and squares like Zoom, and then you also have the undo, redo, you also have the clear whiteboard option, uh, and that will basically remove everything from the whiteboard. And then you have a save whiteboard option, and this is what you're going to use whenever you want to save the whiteboard and then upload it as a PDF like you would in your regular lesson into the student experience so they can download it. And then, of course, you have the close the whiteboard entirely. So if I wanted to bring up a treble clef, for example, once I do that, I could position it anywhere I want, and then when I click on this particular music note, it, nothing happens until you right-click and then you start selecting notes, at which point I'm going to do here. So I wanted to put the F-sharp there, and then I can continue right-clicking in there, and I could start doing an A major scale if I'd like. So now I have the key of A. I also have the ability to right-click anywhere here, and I could add any of these notes. For example, if I wanted to add a C-sharp, I could add a C-sharp, I can move that to a B, I can move that to an A, I can move that to an F, so it's all there. And I could also undo it. I also have the ability to pull up a piano, and this blank piano chart gives me the ability to notate on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a couple of notes, and I'm going to say, you know what, this is an A major scale. You got the key of A major, so now I'm going to notate the key of A major with an A major scale. A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, and the G sharp. Now I have the key of A, and if I'd like to, I can download it right here, and this will be downloaded directly onto your computer, at which point it opens up as a PDF, and then you'd have to save it. You would go File, Save As, and you could save it anything you'd like, and it would give you the option then to upload it. So back to our experience. If you want to clear the whiteboard, you can simply hit the clear board. If you want to upload a PDF, you can do that as well. Select the PDF, and it'll bring up everything on your computer, and you can select the PDF. So I might want to go into my downloads and select Understanding the Whiteboard, which was just posted, and here is Understanding the Whiteboard, and I can notate on this as well, simply by selecting the pen and then underlining it. I could circle it if I want, uh, if, I, if I wanted to. So let me click on the circle, and now I can circle whatever I want, and I can also undo anything I want as well. And it would get you back into the blank whiteboard. So it's very, very important that you follow this final step. So if you want to stop sharing the whiteboard and go back to your lesson, it's important that you stop sharing first. So you stop sharing, and then you go into your whiteboard and close it, and then you're back into your experience. I hope this helped. This is a fine tool that's really going to help your lessons, especially when it comes to teaching keys and circle of fifths and notating. You could pull up any PDF like everybody asked and save it. And remember, if you wanted to give it to your student to download, once you've saved it on your computer, simply upload it with the select PDF option, and then it'll show up right there in your student's experience. I hope you really enjoy this as much as I do. Thanks.